Hey everyone, Mike Pareka, Skipper Buds in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois. Beautiful day here today. Wanted to take a moment to go through this brand new Cruisers Yachts 34 GLS South Beach Edition. South Beach Edition is an aesthetic package. Essentially gives us a black hardtop uh, and a full wrap in gel. So the, the deck, the hull, everything is full gel coat color. This one is fusion gray. You can also get it in black. I love the fusion gray with the contrast of the black windshield. Um, I also like how the rake of the windshield matches up perfectly with the hard top and how the hard top extends out with that sure shade. Makes the boat look like it's moving when it's standing still. I also like how the black window contrasts and kind of equals out the gray gel coat. But in all black, the boat is pretty stunning as well. Um, it's hard to pick which one I like better, but this is stunning with the, with the contrast. This one is also an IO. It has twin 8.2 liter 380 horse Mercury Bravo 3s with the joystick Axios. What that gives us is this ridiculously awesome massive swim platform. This could accommodate six adults laying out in the sun easily. Also, in that 30 amp room underneath the seat, there's a button on the side that deploys the submersible swim step, which is located there. When that is deployed, this back area and the boat's at rest becomes the such a key part to the entertaining this connects you with the water it really takes the boat to a whole nother level let's take a step on this massive swim platform you can see we have rockford fosgate speakers back here we also have a head unit this seat backrest there's a button located right here by hitting that you'll hear it by hitting that, it deploys, it'll unlock, and you have to manually lay this down and it becomes a footrest. And this butt area becomes a backrest, so we have an aft-phasing chaise, which just adds to the ambiance and usability of this back area here. This seat is permanently facing aft. Here we have a sink. We have a fusion grill. Apologize for this, I had a little antifreeze on there. It's still a little wet. There we've got a garbage can. Here's the control for the grill. Refrigerator right below it. We have storage underneath this seat. This backrest is currently in the aft facing position with very little effort. It is now in the forward facing position. So we have opposing L's, L here, L here, forward facing seat. Here is the helm seat. This right here is the steering wheel cover I just removed. Brand new boat. This boat has 0.4 hours on it. Simrad screens, which will have your engine data and GPS capability. You're switching on both sides. There's your Mercury joystick for Axios, new control box, Bennett control tabs with indicators, cell phone charging unit, bolster in the seat here, Rockford Fosgate subwoofer. Behind these black acrylic doors is storage. Here is a porthole going into the cabin. We also have this black acrylic door, which will swing shut. In concert with this shut window, dramatically cuts the wind coming into the cockpit and the sound down. But this is the best seat in the house up here. We have two headrests. We have cup holders in between. We have a large U-wrap. We've got Rockford Fosgate control up here that's zoned speakers. We've got... Windless controls, chain locker, additional speakers. Looking back on this boat, it feels so much bigger than a 34 foot boat, probably because it is. The boat is 36 feet, nine inches LOA, length overall. It's also have a beam or a width of 11 feet eight, has a dry weight of 14,530 pounds. Uh, fuel capacity is 200 gallons. The waste is 25. I also believe the water is 25 gallons. 
can see we have an additional refrigerator here. Awesome looking helm. Really well laid out. This is a look into the cabin. You can see we have AC controls, light controls. Here's that port light. You can see the seating. We've got three steps going down. Speakers in here, teak table. This cushion here is for the forward table. The forward table in the bow will drop low and create a filler. So that's what this is. In the tote here are all the manuals, an additional pillow. Here's the main distribution panel. It's located right here. Back here we've got the midship sleeping area. Refrigerator. Antico flooring. Wet head. Vacuum flush head system. Sink. You've got your flush controls, your monitor, your light switches, and fan switch. This is a blackout window, so you cannot see in. Love this screen door. On a beautiful day like today, to have this air coming in and not have the bugs, that's fantastic. This is truly the future of boating. These large day boats, if you would have told me 20 years ago that 34 to 50 foot bow riders would be the industry norm, uh, it'd be a big surprise, but it is. And they're great. Once you really start using them, the amount of space, the usability, how you can interact with the water and the outside, this is the future. If you'd like to see this boat in person, we have it in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois. Phone number here is 847-872-3200. Come take a look.